Okay, hey, it's Ryan here from ProTint. Um, just wanted to cover another project we're working on. We have this beautiful Jeep Rubicon 392, and the customer originally came in to get a quote on doing paint protection on the whole thing. He wanted to use Expel Ultimate, which is the high gloss finish. And um, after looking at his options, uh, I should say their option, husband and wife, she settled on the satin finish. And so they've gone for more of a custom appearance. So this is a project we're just about finished with. On this particular one, what we have done is the Stealth, Expel Stealth paint protection on all the exterior surfaces, on the black painted surfaces. So it gives you this nice custom appearance. This film has a 10 year warranty, it's self healing. They're gonna do some off-roading and stuff. So get minor scratches from like running into trees and that kind of thing they should go away naturally as long as they're not too crazy but a few things that we do that I wanted to point out I've seen some things online through some of the forums people talking about different price quotes if you as a customer call us for pricing when we quote you a price for any paint protection it's always going to include wrapping all the edges some shops will give you a, like a low ball price and then when it comes time to come in, they'll say the best way to do it is to wrap all the edges. And I agree completely. In fact, we won't do it any other way. So anything we bid for you is going to include wrapping edges. So all of these panels, anywhere we can, we take the film beyond the edge and wrap it underneath, which makes it so there's really almost no edges to see. We use computer cut kits. Expel has the best fitting kits on the market, in my opinion. So they're designed to where we are not needed to use a, a knife to cut things on the car, almost at all. I mean, I can't say completely we don't ever take a knife to the car, but for the most part, it eliminates like 95, 98% of the cutting on the car. And when I refer to wrapping edges, this is a panel that we're in the middle of installing. You can see excess material here. It comes out uh, half an inch or so. After this cures on the outside, we're able to take it and wrap it around the edges, which gives you a much cleaner, more factory appearance. Also, um, some places will, like this Rubicon badge here, we put the film over because it was a satin finish from the factory, and so it's just going to protect that. But like where you have this badge that says 392, some places will cut around that. Uh, what re we recommend is to take these off, order new ones from the factory, install the film so you get a nice perfect finish, and then install these over the top, which is going to give you a factory finish so it doesn't look so aftermarket. So these are the old badges, but we'll be replacing those once we get them in a week or so. One other thing I wanted to point out is we avoid taking cars apart as much as possible. When you have a brand new car, unless it's necessary, we don't want to take it apart. It's best to just leave them the way they are from the factory. But on this particular vehicle, the way it's designed to get, especially using a stealth finish, we'll pull things out. And so, for example, like the tail light that goes in this area, we pulled that out so we're able to tuck it in around the edges to make it so when the tail light's in place, you don't have any gloss around the edge. Also, it um, has a spare tire carrier here. It's pretty intricate, and um, we felt it was best to get that out of the way to give more of a custom, not a custom, but a factory look. So when needed, we will take things off, but most cars and the way the kits are designed, this one's unique, so it needs more dismantling than most, but usually we don't take much of anything out other than maybe headlights or taillights. The other thing on this vehicle is obviously we do window tint. Um, they've chose to go with the best option as far as that goes for keeping the heat out. They've gone with XR Plus in a 35% on all the sides and the back window. And that's going to make the factory tint on the back just a little bit darker. The most common choice actually is to go more with like a 20% over the factory tint that gives you a little more privacy, but they just wanted heat rejection and a little more privacy. So they didn't want to go that extreme. So they kind of went with like a middle of the road options when it comes to um, heat rejection or not heat rejection, darkness. We're also doing the entire front windshield in XR80, which is going to block out, you know, about 50% of the heat and all of the UV light and the majority of infrared light, so it just keeps it much, much cooler. It won't look darker, it's just going to keep the car a lot cooler. 
Now unique to this vehicle specific is a product called Racing Optics. And the windshield on this, it's flat, it sits upright, it's super famous for braking. And now as they've got more modern, they have sensors in it and windshields are getting, you know, getting close to a thousand bucks to replace a windshield. This product called Racing Optics will go on the outside of this windshield. They only make it actually for this vehicle and that's about it for now. But similar to what you'd see like on NASCARs and race cars where they have racing tear-offs and this will be the same idea. So it's a three-layer product, prevents rock chips. If you get any scratches and that kind of thing from your windshield wipers over time, which has been common on other products that have tried to come out for the same thing, you can tear off a sheet and then you have a nice new layer underneath. And so the windshield's protected and I have a couple customers with these that have been demoing it and trying it got a few that are up to about 8,000 miles now and so far they haven't had to pull off the first layer but from what I'm seeing I would expect on a daily driven car to get around two years of protection on the windshield with a product like that. So this customer is essentially gone with everything that we offer aside from ceramic coatings. Um, I think they'll probably end up coming back for that later. Um, they just want to get the vehicle back this week. So if you do a project like this if you're wrapping an entire car, our average is, first of all, we're, depending on the time of year, about a week in advance, and then we would need the vehicle for about four to five days, depending on the type of vehicle, to do the installation. So anyway, just wanted to show you what we've been working on, and uh, if you have any questions or anything, reach out to one of the stores or check us out at ProTintUtah.com.